A local health care provider is helping to combat the opioid epidemic in our state. First 11 Care Source is cutting back on the prescriptions of opioids in a very big way. Ohio's largest Medicaid plan says it has reduced the amount of opioids prescribed to its members by 40% in the last 18 months. Two News reporter Kristen Eskow is asking how this could help stop opioid addiction. Brooke and Mark, Care Source officials say the program is about working with doctors and other prescribers. Now, experts say prescribing too many opioids is one of the factors contributing to the opioid crisis. Care Source taking action to cut down opioid use among its 1.8 million Medicaid members. Officials say over the past year and a half, Care Source has reduced the amount of opioids prescribed to its members by 40%. CareSource expects to increase that proportion to 50% by the end of the year. You know, the opioid crisis is a community problem. It's an effort that we need to bring all, all health plans together, all community efforts together. Jim Gartner of CareSource says the company started a program in 2016 that alerts providers who prescribe more opioids than their peers and works to change their prescribing patterns. Gartner says the program also limits the number of pills and day supply of prescriptions. If a member is on a prescription for greater than five to seven days, that's when they tend to have a problem driving towards addiction. Those who are all too familiar with the opioid crisis say cutting down the amount of pills prescribed can cut down on abuse. You know, for 15 years, I was addicted to prescription opiates. And, um, it's, it, there was no good out of it. Scotty Mays is a peer supporter for the organization Families of Addiction. He says cutting down on the amount of opioids prescribed is a step in the right direction, but it's just one of several components that need to be addressed to combat the opioid crisis. It's time to really like be a little bit more, I don't want to say aggressive, but assertive. Um, really um, getting the message out there that this is not okay. And officials with CareSource say they agree that preventing opioid addiction is an ongoing process. That's why they say they're working on a plan for 2019 to continue their efforts. We're live in downtown Dayton. Kristen Eskow, 2 News, working for you.